Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Dr. McVeary here with another Foundations of Reading Test Study Guide video. And we're still working on how we understand and apply reading comprehension skills and strategies to both imaginative literary texts and to informational and expository texts. Today, I want to focus specifically on the objective of the levels of reading comprehension. And long before we told children to TTQA, you know, turn the question around, we had students answering three types of comprehension questions for assessment purposes, really. Literal, inferential, and evaluative. Um, and these, these three levels came out of research about like in 1974, right around there, um, by Barrett, who came up with a taxonomy, one of the very first ones of reading comprehension skills. And that taxonomy of skills broke it into literal comprehension, reorganizing, inferential comprehension, evaluation and appreciation and from like 1975 to like the 19 mid 1980s people were refining and playing with these measurement techniques and they really got reduced down to literal inferential um, and evaluative questions so what do those three levels mean well the literal level is things that can be answered explicitly with the text and that means the details are identifiable, you can find them. These questions often focus on like the who, the what, the when, and the, the where. The things with, you know, declarative answers that you can find. Um, you could do things like identify the setting, identify the main idea, list the characters, um, organize events. At level two, we're talking inferential information. And this could be information that's either explicitly mentioned or implied in the um, conversation. Conversation. That's either uh, in the book. And you combine this with prior knowledge to make an inference. Or you can combine it with another source to make an inference. These questions, they focus more on the, how, the why, the how. And they could ask um, readers to maybe make predictions or state reasons for events. Um, The level three, you're making evaluative judgments, and those are inferential, but at the same time, you're making a judgment call. So evaluative questions ask you to combine in, um, implicit information with an opinion. And then you have to focus on evidence from the readings to, to kind of how to fill it in. So when you ask uh, evaluative questions, you're thinking like to make a judgment, compare, comparing characters, um, creating alternative in endings, um, evaluating the reasons for events. So then, you know, if these come out of comprehension testing and assessment, what do these three levels look like in the class? Well, luckily, these three steps provide you a nice scaffold when you're trying to plan either a written comprehension activity or even, you know, a comprehension activity that would involve classroom discussions. You can kind of go up from the level one, level two, level three as a way to scaffold it for the understanding. But what you really need to be doing is modeling the literal questions with your younger students. And then you like increase the like the change in the interval to how much of the um, of your thinking that you make evident to the students. And then eventually pass it off and have the, those students kind of working on, um, on that kind of think aloud. When you're modeling literal questions with older students, demonstrate really how like text structures and the, and the features that, that they find, how that can provide meaning um, into the text. Um, you know, like, think about it. The first question is probably answered by finding the first bolded word in the chapter. That's just how textbooks are written. So use those text features to model literal, literal questions with some older readers, and even your younger readers, you know, it's never too early to start annotating. Um, design questions that explicitly state details without direct quotes. So you don't want to, like, you want to explicitly see, have, you know, use it, but you don't want to be verbatim from the book. Um, but you want it still to be an explicit detail. And that, that takes a little bit of practice. Uh, model how to respond to inferential and evaluative questions. You know, it's always about thinking aloud and, and making, doing what good readers do out loud for your students. Uh, make it apparent when details come from the text and when, what's your opinion or what's your prior knowledge. You know, show students how you're integrating multiple ideas. And then finally, always use graphic organizers as a model, um, whether that's before, during, or after your reading activities. Because... Like most of these strategies, we can think about um, 
needs level one, level two, level three questions. Uh, in, you know, if they're literal, inferential, or evaluative, at before, during, and after teaching phase. Hello, everybody. That was some quick tips on using the three levels of reading comprehension to help guide your classroom activities and support your learners as they try to become effective users of comprehension strategies.